cool. So training's going in today. There, I removed a bunch of black widows. I drove it for about six or seven years as my daily, just adding stuff. Yeah. Going to like all the meets when like shit was popping off back then. Right. Where'd you guys go? Like uh, nickel nickel? Yeah, man. There's more like, there's more shit in there too. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. That looks about right. Yeah, so reminder, don't you don't need, you don't need these. Or these. Or a mallet to put in this c-clip you just catch it on one side and walk it over with your thumb yeah Okay, so I'm making some bacon. No, I'm making a window. Hopefully keep debris out. Tortillas, the Cuban people. Cubans don't eat tortillas, man. We eat bread, man. Wait, do they eat flour or corn no, tortillas? No, nothing, wait. Only tortillas are fucking cigars. Cigar wraps, wait. <laughs> that is salt. And there's no light. This is the dreaded part I hate doing.
That's pretty much what my Supra looks like all year. But anyway, every time I come out here, I gotta spend an hour just killing spider webs and cobwebs because they're coming from that car next door, which is a Mustang. So yeah, I'm gonna put these two 17 millimeter bolt, sorry. Yeah, it is 17. Back onto the um, bell housing right in there. I'm just gonna film this in case I get, you know, stung by a black widow. It's all documented, you know? But yeah, we're gonna put that back, these two 12 millimeter bolts and then these other two. Um, and then the remaining four pressure plate bolts while we turn the uh, crank. Sorry, I totally forgot to film this shit. I mean, film this for you guys. <clears throat> so I'm just putting the slate back in. And it's probably about time I bleed it. I haven't bled it all year. Just been hanging out. And then I always like to leave this passenger side um, transmission mount open so you can pass through the um, speedometer cable through there and then thread it back in. The fucking reaches. So yeah, once you have it lined up, I mean, once you have the cable lined up with the groove, then you go ahead and thread it in by hand. Voila! Yeah, so, don't forget to put the, the sensor right here uh, towards the rear of the transmission. I believe it's a 10 or 12 millimeter bolt that goes right here too. So here's another thing I've been meaning to do is um, cut out, you know, box in these lower A-arms because my wheel hits and I'm running a spacer on each side. So I gotta do that at some point. <clears throat> this is very basic information, but there's one window here, one window here. And then one window towards the um, back of the oil pan, basically turning by hand. And I'm trying to find the right areas to put these 12 millimeter, millimeter bolts back in. There's six of them. So I've got two out of four already. It's easy shit. It's just hard to do it little by little by yourself. For some reason, I can't seem to get a socket over the uh, the head of the 12 millimeter bolt. Uh, I put Loctite on it as well, but basically the head of the pressure plate sits right up against the bolt. So I cannot put a socket on there. So it's pretty cool. I get to turn the wrench little by little um, and get a, good, get a good finger workout. It's pretty sweet. So, ran into another problem. Um, three out of the fucking six flywheel bolt, I mean pressure plate bolts, line up. But the other three do not. So I'm guessing that this lightened flywheel doesn't have symmetrical um, threaded holes so I have to clock and rotate the pressure plate a certain way or certain angle or degree to um, accommodate all six bolts so only three of the six line up so I'm gonna try to do this without pulling the transmission
So yeah, if you ever use the um, 11 pound flywheel from Drift Motion and their Clutch Masters Drift Motion six plug kit, a certain way only if they're gonna both line up. So in order for it to sit correctly, you need to keep clocking until all six bolts line up. It kind of set me back an hour, but I figured it out finally. Uh, Loctite for locker blue. You can use red if you want. Try not to get it on my shirt today. Ruin another good shirt. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You get to um, use both sides of the windows. So you thread one in on one side. Then you come over here on the other side. You do this one. Make sure you thread it in by hand first. So I definitely recommend the torque wrench, but not necessary um, if you know what you're doing. So a lot of people say you drift 14 foot pounds, but I'm going 15 just because it feels a little softer. And I'm not reusing the old um, pressure plate bolts. I got new ones, but I forgot to get new keys. So yeah, I went with um, 15 to 16 foot pounds for all six pressure plate bolts. I'm just tightening up the um, clutch slave. And I'm going to go ahead and go in the car to see what the clutch pedal feels like. And then I went ahead and torqued this one to like 18 pounds. Um, 12 millimeter bolts around the slave cylinder housing. Pretty sure I, knew, I don't need to tell any of you guys, but for those that don't know, here you go. This wrench right here is a fucking lifesaver. Okay, so I still gotta paint this wing. Look for that. <clears throat> use my Nashua tape to cover up the side windows because I've never had the never had the side windows and then clean the grease off of this front window whoops to put back on hopefully it doesn't pop off again put some Nashua tape over it too my favorite part, putting these starter bolts back in. It's pretty fun. If you have fat welder hands, forget it. <clears throat> so yeah, I also picked up this um, 12 millimeter by 1.25 um, die on Amazon. I think it was like six bucks because the uh, Last time they cross threaded a little bit. So yeah, just run them, put them back in. Okay, so when you get a chance, order yourself some Redline MT90 for your R154. Um, I was a strong believer of Mobile One products and I still am, except for the R154. This feels a lot better. Um, drift motion vouches. Drift motion vouches for it. Sorry, I was covering the mic with my finger, but yeah, get Redline MT90. Don't run anything else in your R154. 
so yeah let's pump some mt90 in there hopefully i don't break this pump because i've gone through two already So yeah, it took like 3.75 quarts. I'm sorry guys, I always have a bad habit of putting my finger on the bottom microphone of the GoPro. So I apologize in advance. And you can honestly put in the gear oil with wherever you want. You don't have to pump it in here. You can do it from the top of the shifter. I personally like doing it from here. Um, and then I use a stubby 15 16 wrench or 24 millimeter wrench. And now I'm gonna get some shit from the court. Yeah, it's a 24 millimeter originally. What are you doing up there, huh? Trying to find birds to eat? Sashimi? Oishi? Oishikunai? Anyway, it's about that time. Getting close. Yeah, you could use Loctite if you want. And then, uh, remember those two marks that I had you guys do? Or maybe you didn't listen. Or maybe you don't care. But yeah, line them up. So the balance is the same as before. Okay, Josh, that bolts are tight. Damn, that looks fucking good. It's good to be back. This is what I'm gonna use to break in my diff. Um, 7590, mobile, mobile ones. After, <clears throat> after 500 miles, my clutch, flywheel, Transmission and diff will be broken in. All right, cool. So I ran out of light again. Make sure you put that um, brace for the drive shaft tunnel. Now we can go ahead and pump some gear oil in here on the diff. hair in my face yeah I heard that black widows obviously like warm climate but if you have a pair of gloves that you leave outside or shoes they really like sleeping in there so do not leave your gloves and your shoes outside if you know there's black widows it's weird i didn't see a single black widow today okay last bottle 
pretty happy I didn't break my gear oil pump because I usually they usually end up snapping at the neck so I can do a few more cars after this and then while you're here just nut and bolt check everything while you're at it <clears throat> And then thankfully I'm running this anti-gravity battery. So all I have to do is press this restart button. And it's cherry.